All right, so this video is for Ken. We're going to look at the Hollow Tours app now. As you can see, the menus move with me. Adjust floor height. Oh. Welcome back to Hollow Tour. Start. Start. Okay. Where would you like to go? Um. Well, let's, let's go to Rome. Look at this painting I brought. It's the Piazza Navona, a place where Roman artists have gathered for centuries. Ciao is how you say hi. Oh, it's I can't hard. go behind it. Go ahead, give it a try. Ciao. Ciao. Or not. Perfect. You'd fit right in. In fact, rather than just staring at this painting, Let's go see Rome in real life. Oh. Feast your eyes. We're actually standing in Piazza Navona in Rome, a city that's been home to emperors and artists, popes and gladiators, and, as you can see, lots and lots of tourists. So there's a limit to how far I can back out of this app before it comes with me. Oh. Where should I begin? Well, when it comes to Rome, you quickly realize that stunning relics of the past are everywhere. Hey. Believe it or not, we're... Oh. Arrows tell me where to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, there it is. That's a photo of this piazza taken from above. Now, I'm going to draw the footprint of the ancient stadium over it. See how the piazza still follows the same shape of the racetrack? Hmm. The layers of the Eternal City go deep. Let me show you just how deep. Watch this. Hmm. Oh boy. Welcome to the Piazza della Rotonda, oh. right on the footsteps of the Pantheon, a 2,000-year-old Roman temple that's now a church. Let's take a look at the main attraction of this square, the Pantheon. Commissioned it's hard to Emperor see. Hadrian. It was built on top of earlier temples. The first version was made by Marcus Agrippa. I can see just slightly left and right of the text we see here to give you an idea of how wide it is. And I can see just the letters on the top and just the top of that statue for the height made this building when consul for the third time. That's the classy way to say Agrippa was here. The temple's dome-like structure was chosen to invoke a feeling of the heavens. Hmm. It's kind of hard to visualize from out here, isn't it? There. Oh. Now you can see what I mean. I was wondering where the dome was. This is still the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. A major architectural achievement back in the day. If you look up at the ceiling, you'll see a hole that was the only source of light in the entire structure. It's called the oculus, or eye, because it was supposed to be the window to the celestial, the best preserved of all the ancient Roman ruins. Probably because it was the first temple to be converted to a Christian church. Oh, that's as far as I can get to those statues. The oh. water from that drinking fountain comes from a reconstructed aqueduct that was first built nearly 2,000 years ago. It's as close as I can get to it. Tastes like history. What else? Trash can? Oh. And that oh. is an ancient Roman robot. <laughs> or 
Okay, that's funny. Oh wait, no, that's just a trash can. Can we go in? Inside the building are tombs of two of Italy's kings, as well as the resting place of one of the great geniuses of the Renaissance, the artist Raphael. How do I go back? There we go. In the 1800s, the piazza was used as a... Oh. Passport. Oh, you can rate the places? All right. Secrets. Robot Robotino. Peru. All right. So how do I go back? Bird okay. Clicking and holding takes you back here. Let's go to, to yes. Let's go somewhere else. All right. You should go um, check out the passport when you want to view your progress. You can say I can click to spin at any time during the experience Whee! to check it out. All right, let's go to Peru. Peru, please. Uh, select panorama. What's that? Ooh, oh, you have to unlock them, I guess. All right, let's go back. And nope. Okay. New tour. Hi there. Welcome back. I want to show you a remarkable artifact. Oh. So this disc represents the god of the sun in Andean mythology. So there's a limit to how close they'll let me get. The ancient cultures and from what angle. Oh wow, actually, no limit. That remain to this day. Let's go see for ourselves. <sighs> Our journey begins in southern Peru. Bienvenido. Welcome to Ollante Tambo. As you look around, you'll see mostly tourists and backpackers, but there is evidence of something more beneath your feet. Wow. Beneath my feet, you know huh? That you're standing on top of what used to be a royal estate a ceremonial center, and even a military stronghold. That's right. It was all built by a group called the Inca. Five centuries ago, their vast empire stretched for thousands of miles along the Andes Mountains. But in the year 1537, this valley was the battleground for one of the last valiant stands of the Inca people. Oh. A small band of Spanish conquistadors leading 30,000 Andean mercenaries marched through this canyon. It did not look good for the Inca. They were outgunned and needed to even... The Emperor's men released water from a dam, flooding the gorge to the east. The waist-high water bogged the Spanish cavalry down, where they were devastated by the Incan rock slingers. Thanks to this brilliant strategy, the Emperor lived to fight another day, eventually escaping to the legendary city of Vilcabamba. Why don't you take a look around, as I've got many more things to tell you about this amazing location. There are Incan tombs like these built into the mountains all around here. Some are still being discovered by archaeologists. That's Mount Pinkyuna, where an ancient observatory used to be. We're above the Wall of the Six Monoliths. This is an important archaeological site. That's Sli, 
swing is called a huraka and hurls a stone shot. This helmet was worn by conquistadors, mercenaries sent by the Spanish Empire to explore and conquer the Americas. Incans were expert marksmen, practicing with them since childhood. A warrior could hit a moving target with deadly accuracy from more than 200 feet away. There were only 168 conquistadors, but they had arrived in Peru right after a bloody civil war, and they took advantage of this chaos. These pale-skinned and bearded strangers seemed like gods to the Andean people. There's still more to see here in Ollante Tambo, but if you're ready... Welcome to Aguas Calientes. So I can't see that entire this sign. Town is the I can now to see the entire sign. Thousands of visitors pass through it every day. Uh, go ahead, look around, and you'll see hotels, rest place. Probably owes its existence to an adventurous professor from Yale. Let me show you a photo of him. Where is it? To your left is a signboard. Nobody will mind if I use this for a bit. Oh, there he is. Hiram Bingham. This is the man who inspired the famous character Indiana Jones. Yeah, he led an expedition to find the legendary lost city of the Inca. But what he found instead was Machu Picchu. The city had been abandoned for centuries, and it was so well hidden in this remote region that the invading Spaniards didn't even find it. Look to your right, and I'll show you where it is. There it is. Machu Picchu. Thanks to this discovery, Bingham became an instant celebrity, and a little village became a popular travel destination. Machu Picchu, once neglected and covered with vines, is now visited by thousands of tourists every day. Before going up there, why don't we take a chance to explore Aguas Calientes? Traditional Andean fabric, which is made of llama wool, is known around the world for its beauty and durability. These animals are a very important part of the Andean culture. There were no horses in South America before the Spanish came, so llamas were the only beasts of burden. We're standing on the Peru rail tracks, which is one of the better views in town. Standing on train tracks isn't generally a great idea, but we'll get out of the way before a train comes. That's a statue of Pachacuti. His name means, he who shakes the earth. Welcome aboard. Whoa. Isn't this view awesome? Oh, I'm in a hot air balloon. Jeez. That's More nice. Once again, I wish the view was bigger for this. You know, floating high up here in the here we clouds, are. it's clear how the Andes Mountains protected the mysteries of the Inca for so long. The citadel of Machu Picchu is built in such a remarkable location. Can you see it down there? Where? 